So today I'm going to be doing a video that I've never done before, but I've seen a lot of them on YouTube. So I just want to make my own everyday carry for 2024. So the first things first is, of course, my phone. So as you guys know, I've been with the channel long enough. You guys know that I get the new iPhone every single year. And this one is the iPhone 15 Pro white titanium, just the base 128 gigabytes, because honestly, I don't need that much storage. I don't need more than 128 gigabytes. I was thinking about getting the iPhone 15 Pro Max, and I actually did give that one a try, but it's just a little bit too big for me personally. I'd rather have a phone that's more pocketable just easier to carry around and more comfortable to use on a daily basis. So with this year, I went with the iPhone 15 Pro. And as for a case, usually I do go cases on my 15 Pro, but sometimes I do rock a slim case, like a TAC 3.0 case, where it's pretty much where you have, it feels like you have no case on your phone at all. And sometimes I do rock that when I'm doing something more like outdoorsy and I want to protect my phone from like scratches and stuff like that, I'll pop on that case just so I get a little bit more protection while still having like a caseless kind of phone feel. So, all right, and the next thing is the Apple Watch Ultra. So this is the first generation Apple Watch Ultra, mainly because I did I did see, you know, the Apple Watch Ultra 2, and that is cool about the new sensors and stuff like that. A little bit better of a watch, but for me personally, I just didn't really think it was worth upgrading. I didn't even get a I didn't even get it to make a video about it because I just thought it was so minimal of an upgrade that it was just like kind of pointless for me personally to upgrade and to actually make a video about it because nothing really much has changed with the Apple Watch Ultra 2. Now this year though, the Apple Watch Ultra 3 is probably gonna get some major upgrades or a little bit more upgrades than the second generation Apple Watch Ultra. So maybe I'll upgrade to that one, but I don't know, this the Apple Watch Ultra one that I have right now is working perfectly fine. And this band that I just got actually is, I think from the Apple Watch Ultra 2 and they just sold it separately. My girlfriend actually bought me this for, I think Christmas. And this is called the Indigo Alpine Loop. For me personally, my favorite band on the Apple Watch Ultra in general is the Alpine Loop, just because of how sturdy it is and it's not gonna come off my wrist. With the, a bunch of other Apple Watch bands, I feel like they're not sturdy enough. So with this one, I feel like it's not gonna come off my wrist no matter what I do. So that's pretty much the main reason why I like the Alpine band so much. All right, and for the next thing is my wallet. So with this wallet, I've been using for a few weeks now. And before this one was the one that was very, very similar to this one, but this is the Cyber Wallet from TAC. And the reason why it's called the Cyber Wallet is because it looks like the Cyber Truck. So, but in a wallet form. So I really like the design of this wallet because one, it is insanely durable and it's made out of real stainless steel, which I really do like. It just adds that more premium feel to the wallet. And the coolest thing about this wallet is that when you press this lever, the cards go up like this and it's just super satisfying to use. And honestly, I just do this all, just listen to how satisfying that is. Okay, so it is a very tough wallet, probably more tough than you need a wallet to be, but I just like the durability of it. And aesthetically, it looks really, really pleasing for me personally. And I love the Cybertruck. Unfortunately, I'm not able to get my hands on one right now because you guys know the back order for these things are insane. So this right now is what's gonna have to do for me. And yeah, I just like it because I just love the look of the Cybertruck so much. And this represents that very, very well. And then the one that I was using before is this one right here. It's called the standard wallet. This one right here has the same push feature as this one right here, the cyber wallet, but it just made out of aluminum. It doesn't feel as great. It still feels good. It's still satisfying to use but it doesn't feel as good as the cyber wallet right here. So the cyber wallet is the one I've been using on a day-to-day -day basis. Another thing I've been using on a day-to-day -day basis is this desk. As you guys can see, for the past few videos, my old desk has been right here in the background because I've been using this new desk from FlexiSpot right here, and this is the E7 Pro. So on this sit and stand desk, you can pretty much control how high you want it and how low you want it, and you can actually set presets to a sitting and standing form. So with my previous desk, it was a sit and stand desk, but it did not have presets. So basically I would have to press the up button until I wanted it at the certain height. With this desk, I just press a button and it goes to the certain height that I set it at, at the preset. So I really do like that. And that's the main reason 
why I wanted to upgrade and try a new desk is because of that feature alone. So the reason why I go for a standing desk is mainly because I sit at my desk for a very, very long time and I want to take a break and stand up and get the blood flowing in my body. And something that I noticed with this new E7 Pro is that it is super, super sturdy and high quality. And another thing is that this thing is super customizable. We can pick between so many different countertops and accessories on the desk and you can also change the color of the legs and everything like that. So yeah, if you guys are interested in checking out a new desk from FlexiSpot, I'll leave a link down in the description below. I highly recommend them just because I've, I've been using this desk for about a month now and honestly, it's the best desk I've ever had. So yeah, if you guys are interested, I'll leave a link down in the description below where you guys can check them out. All right, so the next product I wanna talk about is the tracking card. Now, this card right here is a game changer because I used to use an AirTag. I took the battery out because it was beeping at me because I haven't used it for a long time and it's dying. But pretty much I used to have this AirTag I used to put in my wallet because obviously I want to track my wallet, see where it's at. If I lose it, I can track it immediately and see where it's at. That's what I really did like about AirTags. But with this card right here, it has the same exact function, but it's super, super slim. So basically, if you have like a normal wallet, like a normal leather leather wallet, you can put this in and it doesn't add any thickness to your wallet. If you add this into it though, a normal AirTag, super, super thick, and it just doesn't look good. It doesn't look clean, it doesn't look sleek. So with this card right here, it has the same exact function as an AirTag, but it just slimmed down. This thing lasts about six months of usage, depending on how much you use it. But when it dies, you can actually charge it with the MagSafe charger and it'll charge it up and you have another six months to go. So it also connects to your Find My network. So it literally works exactly like an AirTag. All right, so the next thing is my AirPods right here. So this is the AirPod Pros, I think second generation, not the one with the USB-C, but the one with Lightning, I know. I'm just, I, I just feel like it's not worth it until these things break. Because with these, I usually charge it with wireless charging anyway, so it doesn't really make sense for me to get a whole new pair of AirPods just to charge it with USB-C. So if anything happens with these though, obviously I'm gonna be upgrading to the USB-C version because the AirPod Pros are my favorite earbuds of all time. I use these pretty much every single day or every other day when I go to the gym. The sound quality is amazing and obviously the noise canceling is a huge reason why I bought the AirPod Pros instead of the regular AirPods. All right, so my next everyday carry is my keys, of course. Now this one, obviously there is an AirTag on this one because I can't really put the tracking card on this or anything like that. And this AirTag works perfectly fine, I guess. But yeah, just a few keys and then my, my key to pretty much get into my apartment complex. Pretty much that is it. Honestly, keys pretty boring. Air tag. Yeah, that's pretty much it about the keys. And then my last item on my everyday carry, which is probably one of the most important things, is my notepad or notebook, whatever you want to call it. This thing helps me get things done throughout the day. I write down everything that I need to get done and everything, just my thoughts on the day, how the day went and everything like that. This, and I've been using it. I have another one that's a brown one, same exact kind of design. I get a new one every single year because I feel like it helps me achieve my goals and just get things done throughout the day because if I just didn't have this, my brain would just be a mess and I would just be scattering on what I need to do that day. So with this, it just helps me so much. Without, this is probably the most important tool that I have out of all of my everyday carry accessories and products and stuff like that. And my favorite pen of all time, the Pilot G207. I don't know what it is about this pen. I've tried so many pens throughout my days. <laughs> but this pen right here is my favorite pen of all time. I don't know how, it just makes, I feel like it makes me write better than any other pen or any other pencil that I've used in my entire lifetime. Like I remember using this pen back when I was in high school and it was my favorite pen and I, I somehow stumbled across it and I'm back to it and I found it. So yeah, guys, that is pretty much my everyday carry for 2024. This is my first kind of video doing something like this. So yeah, if you guys have any questions on the things that I use on a day-to-day -day basis, let me know down in the comments below and I'll try my best to answer them. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.